Hey everybody, it's Eric Grooms. Uh, thanks for coming back for another part to the series on converting the bedroom to a cigar lounge. Alright, so the electrician came this morning and wired up a, another switch that goes up to the attic to run a standard wall outlet, which is what the exhaust fan is going to plug into. I have to prep one piece, it's going to be the collar. This, I don't have just collar, so I'm going to cut this flange off of this one, and this is going to be the piece that's going to go through the roof. Right now, let's cut this flange off. Okay, so I can use that, uh, I've got a Dremel 3000. I'm going to be using a reinforced cutting wheel. Okay, I got that flange cut off. I went through at least three of these reinforced cutting wheels. I made some nasty sharp edges. But yeah, I made some nasty edges on this thing. So I put a uh, sanding wheel on there. And I'm just gonna go around and sand all those bars off. Okay, I think this bar is good and uh, ready to use. Okay, so just climbed up the ladder into the attic right quick. We had uh, this one wire here coming out and it was short and it actually went right across this opening here. So every time you open and close the attic um, cover, you had to finagle it around that wire. He made he put a junction right there and extended it around to the light. So that's nice, I ain't got a jack with that anymore. And then uh, he added this yellow cord here, added a light right here. So now I have a dedicated light bulb inside the attic. That's nice. And then this other cable we brought up through the wall. This goes down to the wall switch and then all the way over. It's way over there, but it's going to be going that way. But that is what the fan is going to be plugged into. So I just want to show you that. Alright, so let's crawl back over there and put a hole where we're going to put our hole for our fan exhaust. Okay. I want the middle of it down a pretty good little distance. Let's see, what is this? 22 and a half inches, so 11 and a quarter inches. Uh, down about here. See, there's a nail right there. Okay, so this is right about the center of the board or the sheet. All right. So then we go up on the roof and find that that's going to be the center of the discharge. All right, I don't want to climb up on the roof while I'm the only person here at the house. So uh, in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where I want the fan in here exactly. And to do that, I'm gonna take my, uh, my ducting, I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to spread it out between here, where it's gonna be exiting, and over above the room. Okay, buddies. So what I'm gonna do while I'm here, I'm not gonna come back to adjust the camera because you attach the uh, ducting at each point pretty much the same way. Um, you just zip tie them on there and then you tape them down. So that's what I'm gonna do on this end. This is the, the suction side coming in from the ceiling of the room. Since I'm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. And this extends all the way to the exit side. So then all I gotta do is figure out where exactly I want my fan and then cut this ducting in half at that point. Okay, so the instructions that came with this fan said that there was a bracket that comes with it. Um, I've gotten three of these fans and have never gotten a bracket. The first two times I thought, well, 
Maybe the bracket disappeared because the box and everything is beat the hell up. And the fans were themselves were beating the hell up. Uh, but I got I got this one which was in perfect shape and so was the box. It was very well packaged. Even uh, it even this one, not the first two, but this one came through a carrier other than UPS that uh, they put it on a pallet and wrapped it in foam and then uh, wrapped it in shrink wrap. So I know I got everything that came in the box and there was no bracket even though the instructions said they're supposed to be. But this fan does have these little tabs with a little hole through them and that's it. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna mount this thing but uh, I just gotta kinda I'm gonna kinda wing it see what I can come up with. Now flows this way. Those are up top. Put this fan here maybe. I could probably attach it right there. I bet I can hang a hook in there and just hang this right on it. Let's try that. This is what I'm thinking. I've got these hooks. I could drill, I could start a hole up here. I could put this through there and start to screw it into the hole. And then once I get it in there, sneak that thing down so it's hanging on here. Hopefully, that might create a whole bunch of vibes. I don't want to just... put a screw right through there. Well, I guess I could do that. And then, I'll put another hook over here and just uh, use several, use a braided piece of 550 cord to hang from that hook. I have a level, I want this fan to sit level, so I'll put the level on it and adjust how level it is over here. Okay, good theory, good theory, Eric. Works in theory. Uh, that's not gonna bite well. It's not gonna bite well on it. Okay, well we know we're gonna need to get the hole there, so let's go ahead and get the hole going in there. Oh, bitch. That's in there, I guess. Wait, where do I need that hole? Oh, it's gonna need to go right about. Now I'm just gonna hang it with two hooks. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause that's too close to the edge of that two by four. That's just a starter, so I can get this in there and going. <laughs> okay. Alright. So that one's going to be there. I think I forgot my big zip ties. I left them downstairs. But, in the meantime, just as a placeholder and marker, I have small cable ties. You know, I think that cable ties will work just fine. Those are some strong ass cable ties I got. This. Oh. 
man. They're gonna be breaking shit. Another uh, utility hook. Okay. Now, I had to call my wife. So I was out shopping. Because I need more cable ties. More of these big ones. She's going to pick some up for me. 36 inch ones. I want these because they're uh, thick and strong, uh, up to 180 pounds. This thing's nowhere near 8 pounds. Well, no, I think it's maybe 20, if that. It's super light. So I've got my bubble level on there at the angle that I can see it along the seam of the fan. And I'm slowly tightening this strap, which is currently lower, until the bubble is centered. That means the fan is hanging level. And it's not resting on this piece of wood back here, so I think that's good. <clears throat> now I'm going to tighten this and maybe we can get it up off this piece of wood. It's already off this piece of wood. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't vibrate. This fan is very balanced and runs very smoothly even when it's on high. So hopefully it doesn't create any vibrations through the uh, zip ties, the cable ties. That, that is level and that is hanging. So, wow, that actually, I think that's actually gonna pan out very well. Now, I guess I can cut this ducting and attach it to intake side of the fan. I'm using tin snips to cut this thing. I don't have anything more uh, efficient with me. But it works and cut it. So here's your inner sheath. Your inner, your outer your insulation. So this I will, I'll pull out of there and tape it up onto that collar back there.